Hey guys, so today we're going to be doing some festival Coachella inspired makeup. Um, I just want to play in some color. I'm not going to do the whole rhinestone thing for this particular look. I just want to really focus on some bright colors, you know, to, you know, make this smell and pop, honey. Um, so we're going to be working with the box of crayons. Shout out to Super Scent. Hello. I heard so many great things about this palette, so I had to get it. And um, also, the colors are just beautiful. Like, if you definitely want to do a festive look, this is definitely the palette to use. So my skin is already prepped and moisturized. Also, if you're going to be going out to any festivals, uh, make sure you guys use SPF and also try to incorporate a, um, you know, any type of foundation, concealer that has SPF in it as well. So we're going to start off by priming the lids with some concealer. I'm also going to be using uh, the Cryon Cases uh, eyeshadow brushes. I wanted to try them out too, so I got the brushes. I'm going to set my lids with some setting powder. And I think... I think I'm going to go into this purple color. And I'm just going to pack that on the lid. Okay, now I'm going to take one of her blending brushes from the crown case and go back in that same color and blend up the top. Now I'm going to go into this violet color and also pack that on the lid. And I'm going to take that same color and blend it and marry the other two colors together. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe and clean up the edges. Okay, we're going to go back to the eyes later and now we're just going to do the face. I personally feel that if you're going to go to any type of heat environment or you know you're going to be sweating, um, that you should use a cream base foundation. So I'm going to use this Anastasia foundation stick. I feel like it lasts longer than um, using a liquid. With that being said, I'm also going to use a cream base um, concealer stick. This is the Fenty in Mocha. And then also the Fenty concealer stick in Coco. You're definitely going to want to make sure you set your concealer if you're going to be out in the sun or outside for any type of festivals or events. You will melt away if you don't. And again, because we're going to be outside, we're going to take a little bit of setting powder on a brush and just lightly go over my entire face just because we're going to be outside. You're going to need that extra support on your face out there. That extra support, honey. Like this tight bra I got on. Hello. Let's do some pink blush today. Yes, we want to be colorful today. Now I'm going to go back with my MAC press powder to set the whole face. Now we're going to go back into this purple for the lower lash line. And I'm going to go back into the violet. I'm going to go into this pink color here. I'm going to go into this magenta color. I'm going to go into this white color here. I'm 
Now I'm gonna take this baby blue color. I'm gonna go in with a white eyeliner pencil. Mascara for the bottom lashes. Okay, we're gonna highlight with some Too Faced Gold Highlighter. I'm also gonna use Fenty in uh, the pink one, which is the Sangria Sunset side. Because we, you know, we wanna be extra colorful. Yes. Yes, okay. Yes, do y'all see this? Do y'all see it coming together? I just wanna make sure y'all know. Now I'm gonna take the orange side, which is the uh, Mimosa Sunrise side. Oh, oh, I gotta go. Oh my gosh. Some here. Oh my goodness. I look like a freaking chocolate fairy. Oh, yes. I'm gonna put a little bit of the Crayon Cases uh, Golden Highlight Powder with using one of their brushes. Woo! I'm dead. Oh my gosh. Yes. Come on, Supa! Supa, Riri. Girl. I'm gonna go back into this palette. I think I'm gonna use this gold to put underneath my eyebrows. You know, festivals are all about having fun. You can do whatever you want. That's why I love like festival makeup. No one's gonna judge you. Should we put some on the top? I'm about to be mad extra and put some on the top too. Yes, why not? Okay. You can still do playful looks and colorful looks without, you know, the rhinestones and dots. You know, you can still make it work with if you just have, you know, one palette, okay? You see? Hello. For the lips, I'm going to try number 656. It is the Maybelline Clay Crush. I'm going to throw some gloss on, of course. I'm going to use some rose water. You know, because we're going to be on the sun, we still want to at least try to keep our skin hydrated. And some Morphe Setting Mist. Okay. And now we're going to add some accessories. Okay, this is my final look, guys. Yes, I'm loving the colors. I had so much fun playing in color today. I definitely would wear this out. I'm actually about to go to the grocery store real quick, I think. Maybe I should go to the beauty supply store. No, Harris. Stay out of the beauty supply store. That's your problem now. So. So, yeah, if you guys like this look, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Tell your friends to tell a friend to comment, like, subscribe. Hit that bell. Share my video. Whatever festival you guys decide to go to, just make sure you guys are safe and have fun. Until next time, bye guys.